so now we move on to the rolling stock. So we've got Annie and Clara Belt, which I love these old designs. This trio I'm happy to reunite. We have Scruffy, Fred, and Rickety. I find Rickety cool because he like moves up and down. I have bought like multiple versions of these guys just to make the popular Paxton trucks, but I'm super happy to have these three. Here we have Toad, who was another childhood memory of mine. Though for some reason, he has the weird reverse magnets. And another thing is that this back wheel here is a little bit bent when you roll him. Honestly, I'm really happy to have Toad. I mean, I might just fix that problem. Maybe. We'll see. This guy right here, like... Oh my gosh, I'm super happy to have this. We have the Spiteful Brake Fan. I do want to make a remake of Donald and Douglas as soon as I can. I'm just so happy to have this guy. He was expensive, but... Dude, I'm really happy... I'm super lucky to have this. Like, literally, I was not expecting to actually get my hands on this Mavis, this Thomas, this Mint Condition Oliver, this Mint Condition Scarlowy. Oh my gosh, there's so many good ones. Anyways, here we have the older aquarium cars, which I do like. I prefer these over the um, other learning curve trains. We have Gordon's Custom Express Coaches. We've got the Natford Express Coach. This is Gordon's special coach. It used to be, but now it's Spencer's coach. We have Percy's mail coaches here. I do want to get a second box car. I would love to get the cement mixer at some point. But I'm really surprised that this dumper car came with this load. Like, usually these are the pieces that get lost to those. But I'm super happy. These guys look cool. So we have the giggling troublesome trucks. This I don't think this truck has any batteries, but this truck is supposed to actually laugh like the um, trucks in the TV show. And what I find cool about these trucks is that they rock back and forth and they bob up and down. Honestly, I think Thomas Wynn Railway did such a good job with making these characters. Again, with these older characters here like Percy. I really don't know why they had to make these abominations. Anyways, we have this log car here. The Brio log car that you can buy on Amazon. I think this is very cool, especially the logs there. Anyways, we have the Silver Line Caboose. We've got the Halloween Caboose, which is another mint condition train here. Honestly, I think this would be my favorite piece of rolling stock because of how satisfying the orange looks. We got the tar, the fuel, and the milk tankers. Don't know if I want to get more of versions of these, but it's always good to have like spare rolling stock because you can make a big freight train. Anyways, we've got the gold cars here who are super rare. I mean, I was originally like going to use this for a popular Paxton truck, but I decided to keep it as a normal truck because these two do come together. I would hate for them to be separate. But honestly, this gold car is really cool because when you move it, the gold actually spins and makes that beautiful rattling noise. We have this barrel car here. I think I had like a purple version of this. We got this red cargo car, an orange cargo car. This pack here that you can buy on Amazon. This set did come with a truck that I painted gray, but I just haven't shown it yet. Anyways, last but not least, we have my only road vehicles here. I really want to get Harold so bad. But anyways, we have Birdie here, which this is actually the older version of Birdie, which I am happy to have Birdie here. Like, he even has like the little passengers inside. Really sucks that Birdie had to be changed as well. We have Trevor here, who surprisingly didn't get changed until like 2017 when Mattel took over. He's a super cool character. We have Terrence here, who is interesting. So, I think Terrence does have cow catchers, but I honestly think it works better with this, because if you put, like, traction tires on these things, like, it looks super weird, but um, I really love Terrence as a character. Super glad that they brought him back in the CGI series. Here we have Bulgy, who, surprisingly enough, he wasn't, like, released until, like, I think the 
early 2000s. But anyways, Bulgy here is pretty interesting. I mean, I do kind of wish that Wooden Railway would have made a green version of Bulgy. I would have loved that. And for some weird reason, I really don't know why Andrew Brenner decided to repaint Bulgy red again. They should have, like, kept him green in the CGI series instead of just making him red again. But anyways, we have Caroline here, who is pretty cool. We have George, who I've had George for a few months. And finally, we have Butch here. I'm really happy that they gave Butch a face here. Like, one thing I didn't understand is that in Horde Lori, Butch didn't have a face. But I think he's really cool. And so, that was my Thomas Wynn Relic collection. I know this collection is very small, but I'm really happy to have these guys. Like, I really love Thomas Wynn Relic to death, and it will always be praised for years to come. There are certain characters who I want to get. I want... I believe that there are only, like, two more expensive trains left. The Thomas Express Battery Power Thomas and Class 40. After I get those trains, the rest should be easy, like... They should be relatively cheap for like under $10 or something. I do hope to get to complete this collection one day. I'm trying to get the characters from seasons 1 through 7. I'm not going to be collecting any CGI series trains or like uh, the hit characters. I'm just more of a season 1 through 7 person. I mean, I did like Andrew Brenner, but... There are just some certain things that I didn't like about the Andrew Brenner era, but I still think it's good. I'm just glad that they rewritten the episodes. So thanks for watching. Which, which of these trains would be your favorites if you had to guess? Tell me in the comment section below. I'm just really glad that I've got characters like Edward and Henry and Donald Douglas and the Flying Scotsman. These are just like so, so beautiful. Like, I will always love these to death. Much better than these abominations. So, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more. Now, Tammy2009.